Welcome to a special edition of the Addiction Connection podcast. It's September, which is National Recovery Month. But if you're an addictions biblical counselor, it's National Transformation Month. Because remember, Romans 12, 2 says, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. What you're going to hear is a testimony we recorded at this year's annual summit event in Cincinnati, Ohio. Volunteers were willing to come into our studio and share their life story of their life before Christ and their life after Christ. That's the hope of the gospel, is that we are sinners in need of rescue by a Savior who was perfect in God's eyes and satisfied God's wrath. Jesus did that on the cross. He died. He was buried, raised from death to life. And now he lives and he's seated at the right hand of the Father. And he's paid for our sins. So that's why it's important that we consider addiction as a sinful heart desire problem. Because Jesus solved that problem. Enjoy this testimony now of God's faithfulness and amazing power to transform the human heart from sinner into someone who wears the robe of Christ's righteousness. Today I'm here with Lynn Frederick Holloway, and we're just excited to have him here and have him share uh, his transformation testimony. Take it away. Well, I was uh, born in Asheville, North Carolina in 1954, but I was born again in Durham, North Carolina, in 1994. At the Durham Rescue Mission, I was led uh, through this plan of salvation by a man named Reverend Crowley. And on August the 3rd of that year, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. But before then, my life was on a downward spiral due to my addiction to crack cocaine. Uh, in Los Angeles, California is where I first ran into it. And for years, I lived that way. Uh, All my money went that way. The people that I love, I destroyed those relationships. As time went on, I eventually made my way back to uh, my hometown in Asheville, North Carolina. But the addiction went with me. Then I made my way up to Durham, North Carolina because I worked in construction. And it was in Durham, North Carolina that I, again, I'd spent up all my money and I went walking, not going where, not knowing where I was going or how I was going to get there. And over on Hillsboro there in Durham, I got hit by an automobile. Paramedics showed up and they took me to Duke, uh, Duke Hospital and uh, they attended to me there. I dislocated my shoulder, so my shoulder, my arm was in a wrap, in a body wrap. The next day, uh, I went over to the Veterans Administration because I served the United States Navy. And at the Veterans Administration, that's where our administration is where I was told about the Durham Rescue Mission. And uh, they gave me a one-way ticket to get there, best one-way ticket I ever got in my life. And that's when my uh, journey began with in Christianity, walking with God, learning how to walk with God, getting to know God there at the Doing Rescue Mission. The Doing Rescue Mission put together a scholarship and uh, went off to Piedmont Bible College in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I was there for six years. It took me six years to get a four-year degree. But I finally graduated from there in uh, 03. And then the Doing Rescue Mission helped me get my certification uh, for ACBC. But when I first got into this, it was called uh, NAME, the National Association of Nuthetic Counselors. And, but I earned my certification in ACBC. I'm there now to do a rescue mission, counseling and teaching and instruction uh, in what we call our biblical studies program, the victory program. And I guess I've been there now at the rescue mission about 30 years. 30 years, uh, I met my wife. And we've been married now for 18 years. and. I wouldn't change my, I don't think I changed anything about my life at this time. I am so thankful that Reverend Crowley opened up the Bible to me that day. 
I'm so thankful that someone told me about the Doing Rescue Mission and how they could help me. So uh, that's my story, that's my testimony. And uh, I haven't used since 1994, I haven't touched a drug since that day. No relapse, no turning back, no looking back. Amen. Thank you so much for your powerful testimony of God's grace. And just pray that the Lord just continues to use you for his glory and your good and the good of many others that you will have back. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Thanks for tuning in to this podcast. And remember, God is still in the business of transforming lives. Take care and God bless.